Hello everyone, what's up? This is me Mehdi Shakil and you are watching SS Tech Tutorial. So guys, today in this video, I'm going to show you that how you can set up a Wi-Fi router or a Wi-Fi repeater using a Raspberry Pi board and the OpenWRT router operating system. In this video, I'm going to show you the step-by-step -step guide how to do that. So further ado, let's get started. But before that, if you need to this channel, then please do subscribe this YouTube channel. And if you have already subscribed, then thank you so much. So guys, for this video, I'm going to use this Raspberry Pi 3 model B plus this version of Raspberry Pi and I'm using the official case of it. Also, we are going to need a micro SD card to install the OpenWRT on our Raspberry Pi and a USB card reader to flash the OpenWRT on the micro SD card. And yes, we also need a computer to do all of this thing and configure this OpenWRT on the Raspberry Pi. First of all, take your micro SD card and connect it with the USB card reader. Then connect your USB card reader with your computer. Okay, now we need to download couple of files. We have to download the OpenWRT image for Raspberry Pi and the Raspberry Pi imager. To download them, open up your browser. Then visit to openwrt.org official website of OpenWRT. Then from here, click on this link, table of hardware. Then in the search field, search for Raspberry Pi. Then press enter and you will get this Raspberry Pi version listing. Click any of this Raspberry Pi and it will take you to the dedicated page of OpenWRT for the Raspberry Pi. Now you will get this page and scroll down and search your version of Raspberry Pi. I am using Raspberry Pi 3B plus. So I am going to select this one and download the files from here. Just we need to click on this link and it will start downloading the OpenWRT for this Raspberry Pi 3B+. I had already downloaded it, so I am not going to download it again. Then after that, you need to download the Raspberry Pi Imager. So take another tab and search for Raspberry Pi Imager. Then go to this first website, raspberrypi.com. Then scroll down and from here, you can easily download this Raspberry Pi Imager software installer for Windows, Mac and Linux. Download the file, whatever operating system you are using. I am using the Windows, so I had already downloaded this Raspberry Pi Imager for Windows and installed it on my computer. So that's all the files we need to make the Raspberry Pi as a Wi-Fi router. Now let me show you how to flash it or set up it. So click on your start menu and open up the Raspberry Pi Imager. Then click on choose OS, then scroll down, then select use custom and select the OpenWRT image for the Raspberry Pi. Then click on choose and from here select the storage. Then click on write. Then click on no clear setting. Then yes. And it will start flashing the OpenWRT image on our SD card. It's gonna take some time so you have to wait until the flashing has been completed. Okay, now flashing has been completed. Now click on continue and close this Raspberry Pi major. Then eject your SD card. Okay. Now remove the SD card reader from your computer, then remove the micro SD card from the USB card reader and connect it into your Raspberry Pi board. Now we need to connect a LAN cable in this Raspberry Pi LAN port and other part will be connected with my computer. And also we are going to take use a USB cable to power up this Raspberry Pi. So let me do it quickly. Okay, so guys my Raspberry Pi is now powering up. It's going to take almost 30 seconds to boot up. So you have to wait for 30 seconds. So guys, my Raspberry Pi has powered up. Now we have to apply an IP address on this computer so that we can take SSH access into the OpenWRT Raspberry Pi. So first of all, I'm going to disconnect my computer from the, all the network. So I'm going to disable the Wi-Fi. Then after that, I'm going to right click on this network setting. Then click on network and internet settings. Then from here, I'm going to click on this Ethernet tab. And I'm going to apply a manual IP address. So I'm going to select here manual and enable the IPv4. So by default, the OpenWRT get 192.168.1.1, this IP address. So we have to add another IP address with the similar network to our computer. So here I'm going to type 192.168.1.2 and the subnet mask will be 255.255.255.0. Then click on save. Okay, now my computer and the Raspberry Pi board has been connected to the similar network. Now we can easily take SSH access into our Raspberry Pi. So for this, we are going to click on the start menu and search for terminal. Now to SSH into OpenWRT Raspberry Pi, type here SSH, then type root, at the rate, 
and the IP address which is 192.168.1.1. So this is the default IP address of the OpenWRT Raspberry Pi. Now press enter, then type yes and press enter. Now you can see we have successfully accessed OpenWRT using our terminal. Now we can set the internet connection network IP to get the internet into our OpenWRT Raspberry Pi. But before that, I'm going to enable the Wi-Fi hotspot so that I can connect a LAN cable which is comes from a router into my Raspberry Pi. So I'm going to open up my browser, take another tab and here I'm going to visit 192.168.1.1. It's going to give us this login panel. This login panel is for the OpenWRT Raspberry Pi. So by default, the root password is blank. So just keep the username root and click on login and it will log in to the OpenWRT dashboard. Now from here, go to network, then go to wireless. Then enable this one. This OpenWRT mode is master, enable this one to enable a Wi-Fi hotspot from our Raspberry Pi. Okay, changes apply. Now click on edit and make sure to change this mode from AC to legacy and scroll down and from here you can change the Wi-Fi hotspot name. For this video, I'm going to keep it OpenWRT and there will be no password. If you want to enable the password, just select WPA2 strong and set a password for this Wi-Fi hotspot. But for this video, I'm going to keep it blank. So my Wi-Fi hotspot name will be OpenWRT. Then click on save. Then save and apply. Now it's going to enable a Wi-Fi hotspot from this Raspberry Pi. Now if I go to my network setting and enable the Wi-Fi and click here, here you can see now I have a Wi-Fi hotspot named OpenWRT. But before connecting to the OpenWRT, I'll suggest you to remove the LAN cable from your Raspberry Pi and also connect another LAN cable which is comes from your Wi-Fi router. Okay, so I have connected a LAN cable which is comes from my existing Wi-Fi router. Now I'm going to connect with the OpenWRT Wi-Fi hotspot which is broadcasting from the Raspberry Pi. So I'm going to click on this Wi-Fi icon, then show available network. And from here, I'm going to connect with the OpenWRT. Then I'll click on connect. Okay, now you can see my this computer is connected with the OpenWRT Wi-Fi hotspot. Now we have to apply an IP address to our OpenWRT so that we can get the internet connection from our Wi-Fi router using the LAN cable. Okay guys, now my Raspberry Pi has been connected to a LAN cable which is come from my Wi-Fi router. So now here you can see we had connected using the OpenWRT. Now again, if I open my browser, now click on login and it will log in to the OpenWRT admin panel. Now from here, go to network, then go to interfaces. And now here you need to apply an IP address. Now click on edit and from here, you need to apply an IP address with your existing Wi-Fi network configuration. In my case, I'm using 192.168.0.1 network. And for this, I'm going to apply here 0.150 this IP address to this OpenWRT and the IPv4 netmask will be 255.255.255.0 and the gateway will be 192.168.0.1. So this will be the configuration of my interface because I am using this network 0.1 on my Wi-Fi router. Then I'm going to click on save, then save and apply. Then click on apply and keep setting and it will disconnect you from your network and the OpenWRT. And now if we visit to 192.168.0.150, the IP address, whatever you said on our OpenWRT, and you will see we can access the admin panel of this OpenWRT. So by default, the password is blank. So click on login and it will log in to the router admin panel or the OpenWRT router admin panel. And now if we try to visit the internet, let's say youtube.com, you can see it worked fine. So like this, you can easily make a OpenWRT Wi-Fi router using your Raspberry Pi. So guys, that's all for today. I hope you like this video. If you really like this video and enjoyed this video, then please give it a big thumbs up and share this video with your friends. And guys, if you need to this channel, then please do subscribe to this YouTube channel. And if you have already subscribed, then thank you so much.